Hi, I'm Brent Johnson, and today I'm still at First Presbyterian Church uh, in Evanston, and with me once again is Andrea Handley, who's, uh, I hate to say, saying former organist, you're still with oh. us, you're the previous <laughs> organist uh, of yep. this church, uh, and we have come to the chapel, which is a, a nice uh, little room, but there's a lot of organ in this little chapel in here. <laughs> Tell me what we're sitting in front of. Uh, we are sitting in front of a 34 rank Austin that was put in in 1969 when the chapel was built. Okay, so <coughs> the, a late 60s Austin, um, so um, a lot of exposed uh, great out here, um, very sort of modern design, uh, and it's all fit very compactly up here. Three manual organ uh, with swell choir and great. So let's just start with this exposed great. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell me what we've got there. Hefty principle. Four foot octave. Two foot. And a mixture. It's a, a bright mixture there, but mm -hmm. it's not spitty or screamy as we might think of a late 60s instrument wanting to be. Uh, it's actually just a nice full uh, bright sound, right? And then what else have we got? Foot. A borden. It appears to be a metal capped flute up there. So that's everything in the grade, just those uh, few ranks there. So then let's go over to the choir. And uh, the choir and the swell are both enclosed in boxes up there. Yes. Okay, right flute. So what are those flutes called? Uh, Nesson flute and a couple flute. Oh, flute okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, flute celeste. Yeah. Does that go with? Does that go with? Yeah, it actually. A very gentle dolce and flute mm -hmm. celeste there. Okay. And then we have a some brighter stuff. Mm -hmm. You want to hear it alone? What is that stuff? Sesquialtra. Okay, so we have yeah two rank sesquialtra. Let's hear it with the eight foot. Yeah, the four foot. Just to see how it fills out. Okay, let's add the two foot principle to the Cisco. It's kind of almost a big bold solo stop already mm -hmm. at that point. Okay, yep. and, and the quint. It's a one and a third there in there. Okay, yes. and then we have uh, is that a reed? Cream horn. Crumb horn. Crumb horn. Thin sound there, not a, not too big. Play it down at the bottom octave just to see how it. Uh, crumb horns are one of those interesting stops. I always different builders take different takes, and there's different mm -hmm. thoughts about how they can be used. Um, so it's always interesting to see how uh, different companies do it. So all right, and that's everything in the choir. All the rest are, are couplers. Um, so then we'll come over now to the swell, and and the swell we have a starts with an eight foot viola. Flutey viola sound there, mm -hmm. and not very stringy at all. Okay, with so that's, uh, that's lovely. Okay, it does. And then eight foot flutes. and four foot on top of that. Two foot flute. Yeah, that board is big enough to stand up to the four foot principle. Mm -hmm. You get a nice chorus out of that. Okay? And then there's a mixture that goes on top of that. Okay? Then we have a reed, eight foot trumpet. Alright, and that's everything in the swell. So it is. Nice, compact, with one of everything that you need. Uh, and finally, we have the pedal, uh, which is all, again, out here, exposed in, in a nice, uh, attractive array. <laughs> What's our first stop? 
16 foot view long. That's a lot of bass tone for just a velo. It's mm -hmm. got a lot of power in it. Okay. Definitely. With the eight foot octave. Maybe it's just the placement, but so far I feel like the pedal is the most powerful division in this organ. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know how it sounds exactly out there, but um, that's, yeah, that's a, not what I was expecting from 1968 through 69 here. <laughs> okay. Interesting. And Four foot with it. Yeah. Continuing to be bright. Okay. And then we do have another 16, a Borden. Quint there. That's more on par with what I was would uh -huh. expect. <laughs> okay. And then a sixteen gedeckt. Which is very soft, but not as soft as the sanctuary. Soft but present. It's mm -hmm. there. Add some bass. Okay. And then that is an eight foot. Spitz foot. And a four foot flute. A borrowed roar flute. Oh, the from the swell. Yeah, that's our eight foot borrowed uh, mm -hmm. flute, they call it. Okay, very good. Then that's all the flues we have there. We mm -hmm. have a uh, reed here. A four foot crumb horn. Borrowed from the choir, mm -hmm. and then an independent six. Okay, a lot of a lot of sound in that pedal division. I'm kind of a little surprised, but um, it, it makes it useful. Um, the instrument fills the room really well. It's not a huge room, but um, it seems to it, do what it, what it, it does. needs to do. It Excellent. does. Well, um, we'll have to take a look around and see how Austin was doing things in there. But uh, for now, I'd like to hear a little bit of it.
So I've got just a quick look at this organ today. To get into the Austin wind chest, there is a door in the side of the case, and that takes us to the pressure door here. Walking in, we see the blower inlet and the regulator. And we are in an Austin Universal chest. Looks just like they should. It's a gang switch there for something. And now with the lights on, we can look up and see the action above us. Now this is probably for the pedal action mostly. These are individual units. They are not the primary style action. If we look up there, we can see the units and the traces for the great action, which is all in an overhang. So if we go back outside, we can see how the great wind chest is cantilevered out and those pipes are out there. I assume you can move those bottom panels and get into the action. Now, sadly, to get into the swell in the choir and up to the grates, you need a ladder, and you also need a key for the lock on that door, and, well, I didn't have one. The church staff was all very busy with the funeral going on in the sanctuary, so that is our brief tour of this Austin organ here in Evanston, Illinois. Andrea, thank you once again for stepping in and demonstrating uh, this Austin organ here at the chapel at First Presbyterian Church of Evanston. Um, it's obvious that this church loves organ music and has invested a lot in their instruments uh, over the years. Uh, the fact that this one is here and all still playing, the console might need a little uh, goosing to get things going. It does, <laughs> obviously doesn't get used as much as the Alien Skinner, but it still yes. it sounds great and everything works. Uh, and it's a beautiful instrument in this, this lovely little room. So thank you again uh, yes, for stepping welcome. in very short notice and demonstrating. Yes. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and enjoyed the job that Andrea did, please go down and give us a thumbs up. While you're down there, subscribe and click the bell to get notifications because I think there's still some more videos from Evan Skinner and until those videos are out, though, uh, remember you can find streaming classical organ music on our three streaming stations, organlive.com, Positively Baroque, and The Organ Experience. Once again, I'm Brent Johnson. Until next time, thank you for watching.